better? <laughs> Did you join the first one that I accidentally I had to cut it off after three seconds? What'll happen is I'll go to load a video and go live and then if it doesn't bring up my little chat bar down there and I hit go live, it won't let me chat at all and I can't see anything you guys are saying. So I've just learned to copy and paste my header and then if it doesn't work, I redo it until it until it shows up and then I go live. But this time I just went live without double checking and it wasn't there, so I had to shut it off and turn it back on. Yo, what's up, Anthony? Frozen dozen night, my man. Let's get that Eagles photo. You got the Eagles in that one, Jake? <laughs> we just have three breaks in that on eBay. Um, if you guys were here last week, I was commenting that they kind of banned me from listing new stuff. When are you getting those NHL helmets, the minis? They are in. I just need to list them. I just got them uh, yesterday, I think. I need to get them up on eBay. Uh, but anyways, we might we may have uh, a couple nights where we just do three instead of four until we get caught up here on the listings. Thanks to eBay, we'll we'll see what happens. Oh, and I need to we'll get going in a couple minutes here. First will be the eight by ten, um, and then we have hockey at eight ten and uh, full size case break player break at eight twenty or ten twenty whatever. Go birds, yeah. So, but we we are doing a rare basketball break on eBay. I don't do them because uh, they're too expensive, basketball product. But they're fun, and it seems like we always get good hits. So we're trying a case of basketballs tonight, four basketballs. Um, let me post who's available in the pricing. So it's a full case of them from Gold Rush. Uh, I think the team just got cleaned as I was about to type. Let me make sure that I know who it is. Yep, New Orleans. So New Orleans has claimed. Miss anything? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Like, did anything go unsold? There's a couple unsold, if that's what you're asking about. We'll do them in a second here. Just for uh, hockey, though. Okay, so Gold Rush... And then we'll get rolling here on uh, the eBay break. So first up will be the football 8x10. Let's put prices here first of what's left. And I tiered these based off of who's available in the series, guys. So um, if, if teams look higher or lower when they shouldn't, when they should look higher or they should look lower, it's because I looked at everybody in the checklist. There was four teams that don't even have a hit in this series, so I left them off completely. And my Jazz are one of them, unfortunately. Lame. And there's a couple that are more expensive, like Philly, at Lakers, Boston, New York, because they have a lot of hits available in this series. So your chances are much higher. So let's post that, and then we'll get rolling. I think I just have one more spot here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice to see some basketball abbreviations in my chat. Sheesh. We used to do the, uh, what was it called? The three peat. I like those, but the pricing has just gotten astronomical. So it's really not worth it. it Seems like I was losing money every night doing basketball, and it's my second favorite sport, close to first. So that's what's left. Charlotte at 40. Clippers at 20, Miami 45, Oklahoma City 30, Orlando 30, Philly is 60. Uh, they have a lot of people in there. Ben Simmons, Julius Serving, uh, Joel Embiid, there's more too. 
Phoenix 40, Portland 40, Washington 25. Let's see little Big Al break a case of basketballs. <laughs> yeah, that'll be after the eBay breaks. <laughs> How dare you call me little Big Al. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the Gold Rush uh, 8 by 10 if you're here for that. Uh, that's our first one tonight, and then we're going to get straight into the Frozen Dozen. There are two unsolds that we'll do live bids on. We'll roll with that. I think almost every player sold in the case break, so we'll roll with that. I'm check on souls when we get around to that. Um, but we're ready to rock and roll. Tonight might be a shorter night. Big Al's full size is under construction. As you can see, all the boxes back here i have been going most of the day, but we're not quite there. It may not be ready by tomorrow either. We'll see. Um, so we'll do minis and jerseys tonight. We'll try to do a pick one random one or something or, for both of them. And then we'll call it a night until Big Al's Series 6 is up and running. Okay, well, let's get it. Good luck, everyone. Where's my... Oh, I guess I don't need it for this one. Okay, 8 by 10 up first. Okay, JSF indicated on the back there. 3, 2, 1. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. You don't usually see, like, paint ink on 8x10s. That looks nice. That's Jonu Smith, I believe, 81 for the Titans. He signs a lot of cool things. It seems like he signs a lot of customs and stuff. That's cool to use that pen on this one. Stands out. Congrats, Tennessee. Big old signature, Jonu Smith, tight end. I forget where he's at now. He's not in Tennessee anymore, is he? Didn't he leave? I thought he did. Right over the top of 39 for the Ravens. Who is that? It looks like a fool trying to guard him with his arms up. Nice hit, Tennessee. Very cool 8 by 10 We pulled a Jonu Smith mini from Big Al Series 1, but that's about all I've seen of him in anything. And now this 8 by 10 Congrats, Tennessee. Okay, let's get into the, uh, the Frozen Dozen, guys. We've got this one from Series 13 and then two more. I don't think the next series is out yet. I haven't checked today, so maybe maybe it's coming out. But uh, So we'll be doing Series 13 for the next three, two, three, four weeks until uh, the next series comes out. I'm having fun with these, but we do have a couple on so let's get to those first. Um, the first one is Columbus. We'll start the bids at $5.00. Uh, if you win the bid, you have to be a dollar higher than the last person. You own the Blue Jackets in this entire case, which is 12 autographed pucks. Starting bid is five buckarooskies. Okay, let's check on page real fast here. Um... Oh, there was one in the 8 by 10. Whoops. Jonathan's got six on Columbus. Oh, the other team is Nashville, by the way, guys. If you're waiting to see who's the other team is available. Noah's got 10. So, yeah, tonight might be a short night. I'm really excited about Series 6. We rolled over a ton of good players from Series 5 that just didn't come out. Added a bunch of really good players. Uh, this is the series, in my mind, that has the least amount of uh, hits, even though we kind of avoid those mostly anyways. Patriots. That's what came to my mind, too, Carlos. Jonathan's out. 10 is the high for Noah. I'm not going to make it go any longer. Uh, 10 seconds left on that one. Noah's got 10 Columbus Blue Jackets in Series 13 Frozen Dozen. This is box 10 of 20, by the way. Um, okay, going once, going twice, and sold to Noah. Next up, looking for Pierre-Luc Dubois. Dubois. Do we already pull him? That's about the only one. Nice. Hopefully you get him. Okay, next up, Nashville. No, we pulled Dupuis with a P for a different team. That's your, That's you, Carlos? Tennessee? An 8 by 10 If so, I like it, man. Big old light blue ink, the Tennessee blue, what I call it. That's, that's awesome. Nashville Predators. 
Five bucks is the starting bid on them for this one. Columbus went for 10 to Manila. These are most likely the only two live bids we have tonight. Um, I don't think I see. I see one player that is not paid. Uh, went for minimum. We'll see if they got break feedback, but whatever. Seven is the high for Jonathan. Man, quiet chat tonight. Okay, looks like seven is the only bid. I'll give it 10 seconds like I did the other one. Uh, this is Series 13, Frozen Dozen, box 10 of 20. You own them for all 12 pucks. Seven is the high, going once, going twice, and sold. Thanks, Jonathan. Nice uh, bargain bin uh, discount, like you call it. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Let's get going. Look at this. We're not breaking Frozen Dozen at 825, and we're supposed to start at 810. Life is good, huh? Maybe I should stop overscheduling us. Yeah, they don't. Uh, Hip Parade doesn't. Oh, shut up, Siri. I thought so, really? Hip Parade does it right, in my opinion. I don't mind that Gold Rush gives you the entire checklist. But they've got hits in there that you just would never know existed. So you could you could try to guess that there's only a couple of those, from those players, and maybe by watching a billion of these, you know there's only 20 of them. But you just you never know a hit prey. Even based off their their checklists, their short checklist, their little list in their description, or their headliner pictures. Sometimes we pull out stuff that's not on there that's great. So especially in the football stuff. But I get it. Sometimes franchises don't have a lot of players that sign in the first place. Like in the NFL, there's a few teams that just don't have a lot to sign. Okay, Frozen Dozen, box 10 of 20, series 13. Let's get it. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay, puck number one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chicago. Hitting early. Looks like a crack on the case, maybe. Mm, or it's just something drawn on there. I can't tell. Blackhawks. That is Brian Campbell. We pulled him before. Brian Campbell, Chicago Blackhawks. 51 is the inscription. Soup. Campbell soup. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, number two. Daryl, are, are the Canadians going to hit on, like, the 11th or 12th puck again tonight? I swear that's how it's been the last couple cases. Three, two, one. Ooh, I like that one. Boston, Hall of Fame 85. I think that's Cheevers or whatever, right? 30? Yeah, Gary Cheevers. Number 30 inscription, Hall of Fame 85 inscription. Nice silver ink on the Boston puck. Nice. Congrats, Boston. Okay, puck number three. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's one of these Centennial Classic games. So it'll go at whatever player this player played for during this game. Since so you got the Red Wings and the Leafs on the puck, my guess is it's a Wings puck. It seems like we always pull them. I could be wrong. Franz Nilsson. Why do I even make that assumption? Because now watch, I'll be wrong. Oh, is he still playing? Detroit? Am I right? Man, some of these hockey players play forever. Detroit. Nice hit, Red Wings. Franz Nielsen on the Centennial Classic in Toronto. So the game was played in Toronto, huh? I wonder who won the game. Nice hit, Detroit. Okay, next up, puck number four. Oop. Tell me the name on the back. AJ Sports World Certificate. Three, two, one. Three cups! Exclamation mark is the inscription. 35 is the number. It looks like Alex or Andy. Andy Moog. Of course I say Alex. It's not Alex. Is there a checklist for this product out? There is not. They just they give you a short list 
and the headliner pictures, and that is what I include in my description. Uh, Hit Parade does never releases a full checklist. They just give you bits and pieces, which, in my opinion, for those companies, is the way to go. Gold Rush gives everything usually. Big Al gives nothing on his. Well, I guess I throw out hints, but Edmonton, by the way, obviously, I haven't not said that yet. Oilers, Edmonton Oilers, Andy Moog seems like a new name for me. Congrats, Edmonton. Okay, puck number five. Here we go. Three, two, one. Caps. Washington Capitals. 22 maybe is the number. Dino Siccarelli maybe? Also a new name. Capitals, Washington. Dino. Congrats. Every single puck has had a team logo on it so far. The one shared two logos, but... Good hit, is it? Ooh, officially licensed product with a Fanatic sticker. I always hope for big names. Let's see. Three, two, one. Uh, we pulled this puck. The draft was in Columbus 2007. This is a draft puck, so we'll go to the team that drafted this player. Oh, we have not pulled him. Max Packy Pac already? If I said that right. Good hit, good player. I think you're right. If Daryl says a good player. Let's see who drafted Mr. Pacuretti. That's even how you say it. That draft was a long time ago, so if he's still in the league, chances are he's on a different team. Drafted by Habs, is it? Nice. Is he there still? Or did he move? Dino Cicerelli. Isn't that what I said? Oh, Sicarelli. Yeah, yeah, wrong. Cicerelli. Okay. Max. Nice hit, Habs. Drafted by the Habs in Vegas now, but we'd have the draft rules, so it goes to the team that drafted them on the draft puck. Congrats, Montreal. Didn't wait till the last puck tonight. Okay. Three, two, one. Ooh, another Ducks. We pulled one the last puck last week. Anaheim hitting Hall of Fame 17 inscription. Ooh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Timu Salon or Selene or whatever. Isn't if this is the one I'm thinking of? Is this the girl that came in and played? Or am I thinking of the wrong person? Either way, I know that this person has been on other products checklists, like 8x10s and 16x20 multi-sport. I've seen that name a lot. All of Fame 17, Anaheim Ducks. Salon E. Salon E. I. Salon I. E. Congrats, Anaheim. How's it going, everyone? Going good. How about you, Eric? Okay, puck number eight to round out the second third of this frozen dozen. Three, two, one. Sharks hitting again. Finish flash. Is that what they call them? That's nice. San Jose, they hit last week, hitting again. Is it the same player? I don't think so. Logan Couture, 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 Logan, we'll say. San Jose Sharks, nice. Good to see them hit more often. Anaheim and San Jose, both hitting in back-to-back -back cases. Different players, too. Okay, puck number nine. Four more chances. Good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. The Avs, Colorado with a 39 inscription. This looks like it might be an older puck, too. Yeah, that or they used an ink that was running out. You can still read it pretty just fine. Three, two, one. Pavel, Francouz. What's up with these names tonight? Don't correct me. Just you know who it is. Pavel Pavel. 39 inscription for Colorado. Nice hit. The Avs. Lots of new names tonight for me. I like it. I like seeing new stuff. Okay, Kojo Sport Collectibles, three, two, one. Ooh, the Florida Draft Puck. This is one of my favorite logos is the Draft Puck from Florida in 2015. We've pulled this before. I recognize that signature. I'm almost positive. Bright blue ink on this one, Draft Puck. Jeremy Braco, Braco, we've pulled them before, but it may not have gone to the same team. So I don't know if we had the draft rule in yet. Let's see. Maple Leafs, Toronto. 
Nice hit. I love these pucks. They look nice. Nice bright blue ink on there, too, covering up half the logo. I don't mind it. Okay, two pucks left. Good luck, everyone. Drafted by them, never made the NHL. Yeah, I couldn't see too much uh, statistics. Playing for the Toronto Marlies a bunch, it looks like. Okay, puck number 11. Three, two, one. Montreal double dipping at the end. Look at that inscription. I think we pulled this person before. Pierre Bouchard, 71, 73, 76, 77, 78 cups right there. Montreal hitting on the specialty puck in the draft and now a logoed puck for the Canadians. Nice hit, Daryl. That's a beautiful puck, too. Okay, last chance. Good luck, everybody. Empty box here. Puck number 12 in hand. Let's let's see here. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, and then another double up at the end. Toronto. No double ups with logos, but man, the draft teams all hit twice. Maple Leafs. Matt Martin. There we go. Finish with a nice easy name. Interesting signature. He's like signing it. Up and then down. 15 inscription jersey number. Toronto. Okay. So two Toronto hits. Bracco Martin. We had a Sharks hit. It was Couture. Couture. Who knows? Avs hitting with Mr. Pavel. He was probably concussed when he signed. <laughs> Ducks hitting with Timu. Uh, this was the other Habs puck, right? Yep. Max and Pierre. Draft puck and a logo puck for Montreal. Capitals hitting with Dino. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read whatever name is easiest, guys. And you all can shove it. Andy Moog for the Oilers. Nice Red Wings puck, the Centennial Classic game signed by Franz. Detroit hitting on that specialty puck. Boston, Cheevers. Nice looking puck. Good handwriting on that one. Hall of Fame 85. And we started with a Campbell for Chicago. Nice hits. Okay, we've got at this point two more Series 13 Frozen Dozens. I won't order more until we're close to the last one. So we may get the new series. We may have one or two more of these 13s. So far, I've liked them. Uh, lots of new names, different names. Uh, there have been some duplicates, though, too. So, congrats, guys. Let's okay, we are now to the player case break for the Gold Rush full size helmets. Off notifications, please. And we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teams left in the Gold Rush basketball case break. We're breaking four basketballs. The pricing was tiered according to hits and caliber of player. So some of the teams that are low have one or two players. Some of the teams that are high, like Philly, have four or five players, all high caliber hits. Um, the rest were claimed on the Facebook page. So nine teams left. But before we get into that, we've got our case break. Gold Rush Series 2. Let's get these all out. We'll get rolling. Let me check on page. I think there was one player, maybe two. I think we're okay. Yeah, let's roll. No need to waste time on that. Okay. Four helmets, four chances. Good luck, everyone. Box 
one a little dent up there from shipment. At least they ship all theirs in helmet boxes. Box two. Box three. And box four at the bottom here. So four. Three. And we got one on the table. I'm gonna get rid of this box before it causes any problems. Got all these empty boxes in here for series six. Okay, let's get it, guys. Box one of four. Player break from eBay. If that's what you purchased into, you are. Here at the right time. Okay, let's get it. Box number one. with the college in box one. Let's see if we can pull a college player we haven't pulled yet. Three, two, one. I've seen a couple players pulled from that is Miami. Sean, we will most likely be doing some pick one random ones, jersey and mini later on tonight. Yeah, full size is off the table for a couple nights until Series 6 is ready. I swear I've seen Lewis pulled on the Miami as well. Let's take a look. Phillips is the one we've pulled once or twice now. Wayne, too. Patty says, Phillips, please. Let's see who we got. You are correct. That's an obvious one. Big old orange ink. That's how he's been signing all of them. Jalen Phillips. Nice hit, Patty. If that's who you had, I'm assuming since you said please, it was you. I love a signature. And you're a U fan. Congrats, my man. Nice hit. Okay, box two. I was hoping for Ray because I think I've seen it. We haven't pulled. I guess we've pulled him. We've pulled Ray on a Baltimore lid from this, but not from a Miami lid yet. Or Sap. <laughs> okay, next up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Why am I saying three, two, one when you can't see it? Three, two, one. Sideways helmet, Buffalo Bills. These dang things roll around. <laughs> you guys are thinking, Billy Shaw? That's the guess that always comes to everyone's mind from. Let's see if it is. Three, two, one. It is not Billy Shaw. <laughs> we have pulled our fair share of Billy Shaw. The juice would have been nice as well. I don't think we've pulled him, this dude, from... I mean, we have... No, we pulled his brother. We pulled Terrell. This is Tremaine, right? Tremaine Edwards. Nice hit for the Bills. He's a fantastic player, too. Tremaine Edmonds, 49 inscription. I saw someone looking for this helmet on one of the sites today, I think, looking for Tremaine Edmonds. Congrats, Buffalo Tremaine. Okay, box three. Got ourselves a speed. This three spot, I guess the, I guess we pulled a, Lance was not in the three spot. 
Peyton Manning authentic was last time or two times ago. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. That is very clearly a Tennessee Titans helmet. I don't think we pulled a plain Tennessee helmet, plain speed helmet from this non-specialty. Possibilities are endless. Let's see who it is. Titans have a lot of players in this series. Tannehill's your guess? I wouldn't mind seeing Tannehill. They've got Eddie George. They've got Warren Moon. They've got King Henry's in this, I believe. I always ignore the sticker, guys. I don't want to know until I flip it around. Okay, that's a nice looking lid. Tennessee, three, two, one. Oh, it is. We pulled him back to back nights now, right? Didn't we pull him from uh, the specialty the other night? When I say back to back nights, I mean back to back break nights. Last, uh, or on Wednesday. No, Thursday. Derek Henry, King Henry, Tennessee Titan Speed. Beckett authenticated. That's a beautiful helmet. When people always say, I always ask if they prefer specialty over regular. In my mind, I prefer specialty, but when I see it like this, man, that looks very nice. Nice hit. Henry spot. Hitting big on the third helmet. Okay, next up, box number four. Good luck, everyone. Let's get another big name here. Another speed. One shot, one non-speed, two speeds in this case. Last one we had three non-speeds and one speed. What do we got this time? Are we going to get a specialty from this case? Uh, looks like we are, if the label is correct. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> and I can tell who it is through the through my camera. Cowboys, Eclipse, someone messaged me asking what players are from a certain team, and I said this guy could go for either one. I don't know which team they have them on. Probably both. Cowboys, Eclipse, specialty speed helmet. It's a good-looking helmet. And that is Mr. Charles Haley, five-time Super Bowl champ, or six or ten, however many times he won with the Niners and the Cowboys. I think it's five. Good-looking set of helmets. Okay, Jalen Phillips, Miami University. University of Miami, however the heck you guys say it. The real U, not my crappy University of Utah. We call ourselves the U. Tremaine Edmonds for the Bills. King Henry, Derek Henry on the speed for the Titans, and Charles Haley, Eclipse for the Cowboys. Nice hits. Congrats. Uh, we will be doing another case break next Sunday if eBay is not mad at us anymore. We'll probably be doing a case break tomorrow on the Facebook page uh, by team. So if you're not in the Facebook group, come join. We do breaks there. They usually end up being a little cheaper or sometimes a lot cheaper than eBay. Uh, I'll put the link there again. We generally do football in there. Today we're doing a basketball break. Uh, but, yeah, come join. We might start branching off and doing hockey and baseball and basketball in the Facebook break if eBay keeps being rude to us. Okay, that does it for eBay, guys. Titans hitting on the 8x10. Uh, we reviewed all the 12 pucks already in the Frozen Dozen and nice – Set of four helmets here. Bills, Miami, Tennessee, Dallas. It's Haley, Henry, Phillips, and Edmonds. Congrats, everybody. Okay, time for our basketball break. If we can get the last few teams to close, which I know we can, I will post again updated team list, and we'll get rolling. Yeah, Herschel Walker. Four box by team tomorrow. Uh, Quentin, yeah, in the in the Facebook uh, on the Facebook page. Yep, we'll do a case break by team on Facebook, not on eBay. 
So another case, another four helmets, but it'll be by team. We we tend to do one on Facebook and one on eBay per week. Uh, but now we tried to do basketball for once, which I'm excited about, but we still have a few teams left. So here they are. Gold Rush basketball case break. So there's four basketballs in the case. These are the remaining nine teams. Uh, it's tiered pricing, as I've already mentioned, based on who's available and the uh, magnitude of the players that are on the checklist for them. There was Yed Wilson. Yeah. Henry hit. Oh, I guess that's my brain's thinking Seattle for the Seattle did not hit tonight. But we will be doing another one tomorrow on Facebook. And it will be by team and not by player. Okay, here's our basketballs. Um, if you want to see the checklist, it's on the Facebook page. We are close. Let's see here. Charlotte, Clippers, Miami, Oklahoma City, Orlando, Philly, Phoenix, Portland, and Washington are the teams that are left. Tiger can't win if he ain't in. <laughs> That's smart. Somebody else has got to win tonight, huh? Just wait for Series 6 to start back up this week. We'll see. See who's on the hot streak once the series starts again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see here, guys. I don't want to put this off till tomorrow. We might have to if it doesn't fill. Um, there's not, I mean, there's not really, I don't think Philly's going to sell if I, if I discount it from 60 to 57. First basketball break ever. Yeah, there, we tend to hit big names in the basketball break. We used to do them all the time from Hit Parade. We hit Giannis, we hit uh, Wilkins, we hit, uh, who else did we hit? We hit Shaq, Magic, we hit a bunch of Lakers, Derek Fisher. Yeah, 76ers are left. They got they have a ton of names in this series. They have Irving, uh, Simmons, who else am I forgetting? Simmons, I already said that, Irving Simmons and Embiid. A lot of there's a lot of uh, good players in this series. Iverson, Iverson, I don't think is in this one, right? Oh, he is. Yes, he is. He's the first one on the list. Take a Miami Quinton. Thanks. We're almost there, guys. Eight teams left. We can get there. We obviously don't do this very often, so it's fun to switch it up. Miami has some great names too. Wade and. Um, can't think of who else but our big name. Is it morning? Or is he on Charlotte? Charlotte's hit list. Thanks, Quentin. I was waiting for someone to take Portland. I was about to say I'll take them if they don't. Since it's not my product. I'd love a, a Drexler or Dan. You got him, Sean. Quentin goes to Miami. Portland goes to Sean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams left, guys. Philly for Joe. Thanks, Joe. They got a lot of possibilities, so good luck, brother. Any open or unpaid? Uh, there are open in our – we're done with eBay already tonight. Um, so we're on to Facebook, and we're doing our basketball breaks. You can see over there above the teams that are left. Some of them just got claimed, though. Orlando's got a couple nice players, too. Nice claim, Robert. Orlando. Sean Kemp and OKC and Gary Payton, right? Jay Scotty on this list. There are some great players on these teams that are left. Maybe they were thinking Gordon Hayward could be misconstrued as a Utah hit, but he's obviously Charlotte, so that's why Utah doesn't have a single hit in here. Joe's got Philly, Robert's got Orlando. What do we have left here? Just three teams, four teams. Let me update. 
Yeah, Chris Paul in Phoenix, and then there's another person in Phoenix, too. On this checklist. Uh, Mikel Bridges, right? Yeah. He's been great this last postseason, too. Let me update. Portland's gone. Phoenix is still there. Miami's gone. Orlando and Philly are gone. Yeah, really hot Washington also has uh, whatever his name is. Uh, what can I think of him? Oh, we got five teams left, by the way. There are the last five teams. The dude from the Fab Five. Jay Scott, you know, Jay Scott is just trying to help me sell. I appreciate it, brother. There's some great names on this. No, what's the, what's the dude from Michigan? Oh, yeah, Jay Scott already has a lamb, too. Uh, you'll take Washington, still available. I see Noah right above you taking Washington. That was bang, bang, but Noah's in front. Howard, thank you. Yes, that's Washington. Noah, you got Washington. Thank you. This is our first time doing Gold Rush basketball, so, I mean, we'll see how they go. But they've got a great checklist put together. Oh, my gosh. I start typing in Ruby on Washington to try to tell us. Uh, Seth will take the Suns. Thanks, Seth. Seth, I forget. Are you in the, are you in the uh, Facebook group? Clippers for Hopper. Thanks. Oklahoma City. Kings taking them. Thanks, King. Yeah, there's a little bit of your, uh, a little bit of medicine for some people making fun of me for the hockey stuff. I know most everything about basketball. Football is my number one. I know most about that. But basketball is right behind. I just don't break it because it's expensive. Just Charlotte left, guys. Charlotte's the last team. I'll just count Charlotte from 40 to 30 uh, to close this. And then we'll get into some live fills and do some minis and jerseys before we sign off tonight. Uh, if we can fill them. If we can't, this might be a, a little bit of a slower week until Series 6 is ready. I don't know if I'll have it available tomorrow, so it might be the Wednesday-Thursday combo, one of those days. Uh, better to take a couple days off of that anyways. I need to have some helmets arrive too, so it all depends on what comes in. I don't want to start with... Uh, Hornets instead, instead of uh, the Suns, Seth. I can pull you off the Suns if you want to switch from Suns to Charlotte. Hornets and Suns? Okay. You got it. And let me know, Seth, do you need payment info? I forget. I recognize your name. You might be on eBay. You maybe have been in the group a while back, and I just haven't seen you in a while. I can't remember. Do you need uh, PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, or do you have it? If it's been a while, sometimes I wait to see payment, or if I don't know you, I wait. Obvious reasons. I just, my memory is failing me. I recognize your name. I think you've been, you're probably a frequenter on eBay. That's closed, guys. If you're taking Hornets for 30 instead of 40, and the Suns last two there. Uh, none left, but you did get, who'd you get? You got Portland. 
Seth, let me know, please, if you need payment info. I think the rest have been in quite uh, pretty recently. So we're good there. Jim Beheim, I think, is an up in the air one, guys. It would probably be a random. That's the only one on the checklist where I couldn't assign him to a team. So if we hit him, it'll be a random. But that's uh, there's not much you can do about that. I will get the boxes out of the case. But again, I'm going to wait till I see that payment, Seth. Let me know if you need which which address you need. Oh, I, I know who Beheim is, Jay Scotty. There's just he doesn't have any ties to the NBA. Of course, he's coached Syracuse for like three decades. Yeah, I know who he is. He had to resign in shame. I love me some college basketball. Sent perfect. I got it, Seth. I appreciate it. Sorry to cause the scene. Oh, I know who Mr. Beheim is. Yeah, let's do this down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, you did. Yeah, you're good, Jay Scotty. I don't know. Uh, I don't. There's, there's no logical place to assign them, so it would be, it would be a random. I wonder how they package these things. What's uh? This was one. That's two. What are these miniature boxes? I like these. I like the size. This should be nice on shipping. <laughs> Four, three. I got a feeling we're gonna hit a big name. I've always had the luck with the basketball. Let's hope it continues tonight. Get out of my way. Do I do basketball often? It's your first time watching me do basketball? You've been here a bunch of times, Sean. Big baby Zion coming. I'd love to see Zion. Uh, I used to do three-peat on eBay quite frequently and basketball jerseys, and we hit a bunch of cool basketball stuff. But like I always say, they've kind of priced me out, and I don't like doing them because their, their basketball jerseys are sometimes twice as much as baseball and hockey and football, and it makes no sense. They're not, like, all authentics or anything. I don't know. The basketball market's kind of crazy. I might start doing more because I love basketball. I really do. Headliners on the front page. Kobe. Well, that would be fantastic. Curry in the black ball with a nice inscription. Ben Simmons is one of the headliners. Harden, Donkic, and Zion. Okay, let's see what we get, guys. Good luck. But, yeah, I, I'd love to do more basketball. I really would. Maybe I should just stop being a baby and just get more basketball. I don't know. Here we go. Ooh, I was not expecting some balls to have logos on them. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. What in the world is this? Obviously, you can see the logo. <laughs> that is the New York Knicks. Oh, you tell me I got to open this thing to pull a signature out. Okay, who had New York? Was that Ian? You bet it's Porzingis? It is Porzingis. And you're saying that, Chris, probably because you have Dallas. Which is where he's at now. That's a Walmart ball. <laughs> this thing better be signed, man. I like that it's logo and I like that it's blue. Okay. Who <laughs> was he in the next, right? This is kind of uh this kind of falls in line with, like, the stat jerseys and printed pictures on jerseys kind of stuff. Either you like it or you hate it. Ian says, what in the world? Let's find the signature first so I can prove that this is a signed ball. This is making me laugh, man. 
When I pulled this out, too, I thought to myself, looks like a ball I'd buy my son at Walmart. But if this was if it's Jazz logo signed by a Jazz player, of course I'd want that in my PC. That's kind of cool. Sorry, guys. They uh, be nice if they just put the logo. I'll wrap it back up, man. Don't worry. But I gotta. I can't not show you a signature. This is nuts. You had a feeling? Yeah, I didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. I didn't think we'd get any balls that would be logoed. Uh, Ian, do you care if I cut through this plastic? That's funny you did. Can I cut this plastic off? I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll put it in a new plastic bag. This is just your run-of-the-mill plastic. I'm going to assume you're going to say yes, because you guys don't want to watch me try to untape this whole thing. I do like that it's in this spalding case. A little more protected, huh? All right, let's get down to the bottom of this. This is a journey, guys. We're all on it together. Maybe the whole case is Walmart balls. Okay. It is Steiner verified. Might have a second COA. Steiner sometimes comes with two. Like, really? You're going to make me freaking open up the whole box just to find the signature? I don't want to twist it. It's actually Fanatics. Sorry. Steiner and Fanatics. It's both. You look like a kid on Christmas? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else. Oh, this is strange. I, I'm not joking. I, I would be perfectly happy with this ball, but where is the signature? There it is. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ian! Big old Knicks ball. Steiner sticker on it and Fanatic sticker. I don't know what to think about this. Kmart. Gold Rush invested 20 years ago in preparation for this very moment. Kmart. What was the other Mart? Or what was the other? There was a big... Uh, I used to love going to Kmart, man. Yeah, it made me work. They better not all be like that. This is going to be an hour-long break. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to see the dang signature to make sure that it wasn't. Let's protect that signature. Huh? I'll fix it. Okay, box two. That is stressing me out, man. What the heck? Again, if that was a Donnie Mitchell or Rudy Gobert and it said a big old jazz logo on it, I'd freaking love that. Only fair to see the signature, yeah. Oh, we got a flat ball in here. We've had a couple flat balls before. Okay, let's see who we got. I would prefer that they blow them up, but they don't always do that. Should be Christmas by now. I know. This one is Beckett authenticated. Nice new ball. I just need to pump a little air into it. They're too lazy to do that. Okay, three, two, one. That is a big old signature. Oh, the name was up here and I went right past it. Ooh. Who recognizes this one? Blow some air into this. That thing will look nice. That's a huge signature, too. Beckett authenticated. That is the worm. Dennis Rodman. That is a Detroit Pistons hit. Before he won all those championships, he was a bad boy. That's right, Patty. Dennis Rodman. Who had Detroit? Scott. Nice hit, Scott. I was waiting for that message. Very nice hit. Okay, congrats. Box number three. Let's keep it going. I've got one more case of these guys. I don't know if I'll do a player break on eBay or whether we'll just do it like this again. 
I really like doing basketball stuff. We tend to hit decent names and not too much of the bottom feeders, but didn't see that in all letters. Neither did I. Mr. Rodman. Okay, next up. Okay. <laughs> full size. That doesn't look full size. Another logoed one. This one's a little less uh, fourth grade feeling than the other one, even though I like the other one. That's another issue with basketballs, guys. Is not an issue, but some of the, sometimes the, there's a little bit more ink splotches. You can see it right there. It's not bad. But just letting you know, I didn't do that. Charlotte Hornets. Seth says yes. That's Tom Brady's fault. Oh, they had the basketball. What's up, Nate? Late pick hit. Almost took the Hornets. This is cool. Muggsy. Muggsy Bogues. For Charlotte Hornets. Nice hit. Mr. Bogues. He was in Space Jam 1, right? Yeah, guys, that's – so here's here's the here's the thing. Usually basketball – I don't want to say usually, but they tend to have slightly bigger hits. I don't know why that is. Probably because there's less players in the NBA, so most of the players that are playing are decent players. And I feel like you got a roster of 52, whatever the heck number is, 53. Basketball, you got 18, 20, whatever it is. I don't know. Okay, fourth and final ball. Jeez, what is going on with these logo to balls, man? I kind of dig it, but I don't know if you guys do. The Kmart investment still paying off. Has anybody watched these cases? Is there a ton of logo balls in these? This one is sick. Look at that, 76ers, Spalding, Fanatics. There's the signature, nice big silver ink. They don't wear helmets, so you get to know the player of that too. Who is the Dwayne Haskins of basketball signing? That's a good question. Who took Philly late? That was Joe. This was, I think, their rookie. Well, Tyrese Maxey. Philadelphia, they had a ton of hits. Maxi was the one that I was the least familiar with. Another logo ball. <laughs> so I'm thinking there's no logo, so I'm assigning them straight to games plate, and we get three balls with logos on it. Knicks, 76ers, Hornets, and we hit a Detroit Pistons, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, this ball is sick. Look at that. That thing is painted out like a... Sidewalk artist, chalk artist. That thing is cool, man. He's going to be a stud. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I mean, you look at the names Philly has in this series, and there's a bunch of big names, current and past. Max is the younger one, but this is a sweet hit. We'll do, we'll do another one, guys. We got another case. Um, it is annoying that like the Jazz and the Pacers, and and I guess I shouldn't say that because what if what if Hayward signed a Utah logoed ball? So I wonder if I should bring some of the teams in and spread the price around a little bit more. Um, I don't know. And I can get more of these. I think I don't think they've sold out yet. Jury's out. I liked a lot of the hits tonight. We'll do the next case, and we'll see how it goes. I may need to include – I need to look and see. Like I think it was Kings, Pacers, Jazz, and I forget the other team. Just put them at 10. Oh, the other ones? Yeah, I could. Player break is better for balls. I agree. But if I do NBA on eBay, I get reamed. So I don't do that too often. Not a basketball. So you guys do like the Kmart balls, just like me. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't go that far, but nice hits. Maxi, Rodman, Porzingis, and who was the other one? Muggsy Bogues. So cool hits. Bogues had the smallest, uh, smallest logo, but that is cool. I like it. Okay. I like my Kmart ball. I would love to have a bunch of jazz stuff signed like that, or even any cool player in the NBA. I'll get more, guys. We'll do another one. Um, it could be a thing that we post 
once or twice a week and we just wait till it fills and we don't push it too hard. Um, but it's fun. It's hard though. Cause there's, there's a couple teams that it's like doing card breaks. You know, you, you go all out on the chargers or something and you don't hit them. You don't hit a Herbert and it sucks if you don't hit. That's like the, the Sixers and the Celtics and the Lakers and the Mavs. You take some of the, the, the Knicks, you take some of these big teams and they don't hit. It's a little hard. So we'll try to figure it out. Maybe I'll add some of those teams that might have a logo ball for really cheap and that'll lower the price. I don't know. 10 bucks for all those and then take 10 off the bigger teams. I don't know. Okay, congrats, guys. Okay, we are to live fills. If there's interest, if not, we'll call the night. We're in the uh, dead zone for Big Al's full size, which is obviously everyone's favorite, most everyone's. I'm not too far out on that, guys. I'm waiting for a couple balls or a couple helmets to get here. I'm not putting that back. Um, I have a ton here. Boxing up stuff today. I have some new people that I'm really excited about. You got my shipping in from PayPal, right? If that's correct, I can use that, Seth. Um, without giving away your address, let's see. It actually does not have an address on your PayPal. Um, are you able to join the Facebook page, Seth? Or I can shoot you an email because it has your email on there. If you want me to do that, I can shoot you an email. I'll do that. If you're signing off, we can do that. Okay, let's do some live fills. Uh, minis and jerseys, guys. You want to do a jersey mini mix? We could. There's no way that the, the jerseys or minis will fill by team. So it's going to have to be either division or pick one random one. Email you? Okay, I will. Let's send one right now, just so you have my email. Take me two seconds. Bing, bang. No, it won't because I'm not on the right address, so it doesn't matter how to do it here. My big L's address. Sending you just one word address. Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude or anything there, just so I can get it out of the way and then you can email me back. Okay. Uh, let's do a... We have 30 watching. We could try. We could try a pick your team because that would be a lot cheaper. We could do a two mini and a two jersey, and that'd be 24 bucks per team. And then everyone's got four shots for their team. Um, let's do that. Let's try that. Instead of a pick one random one, paying 24, only getting two shots. Uh, so we're gonna do pick your team, big Al's two jersey, two mini. Too many. Claim. Okay, whatever. There it is. You guys are hearing me explaining it. Twenty-four bucks. Pick your team. You claim in the comment by your team. Let's see if we can get it filled. Don't pay until after. If we need to slow it down and do a, a division or something, that's fine. But I know most people prefer to pick a team and have multiple shots of that team instead of getting randomized the team. It's just hard to do that sometimes. So. But since we're without full size, we'll try to pick your team on the jerseys and minis. It's probably a dumb idea, but we'll give it a try. Let me write down the teams. So do not pay yet, guys. If we need to nix this and move to a smaller claiming break, we can do that too. Just writing down team names, and then I'll come up and verify. And it is only 24, so you got four shots at 24 bucks. So the price point is great compared to some of the other stuff we do. Just doesn't feel right not doing full size, does it? It's like I'm cheating on my full size. Okay, yeah, that's not even, uh, well, we'll see. Richard, Pittsburgh, Jonathan, Minnesota. Uh-oh, don't pay me if that's what that is. Let's wait to see. Eric, Miami, Josiah, Green Bay. I didn't get there. Chris C., the Giants. Uh, Ian Late on the Giants. Sean, you got your Chiefs. 
Uh, Detroit goes to Raul. Uh, Marcus taking the Bears. Juan right after, late on the Bears. Sorry, Juan. Quentin, you got Dallas. Uh, Seth with Atlanta. Josh Powell, you got Tennessee. What's up, man? Uh, Eric Washington. Hopper, you got Denver. Ian, you got Jacksonville. Seth, you got Cincy. Jason, you got San Francisco. Josiah, you got the Rams. Quentin, you got Buffalo. Too many two jersey. That's correct. Sorry, my my header was. I try to I, I rush it and it goes fast. So four items, two minis, two jerseys, twenty four bucks per team. Seth, you got the Chargers. Uh, Sean, Seattle. Eagles for Sean G. Vegas for Daryl. We're getting there. Let me comment who's left here, guys. And I think we'll fill this. Man, I'm pumped for Series 6. Somehow there's a lot more authentic. Not a lot more, but there's, well, compared to what we usually do, there's a few authentics this series. I'm excited about it. Okay, that's what's left. Arizona, Baltimore, Carolina, Cleveland, Houston, Indy, New England, New Orleans, New York Jets, Tampa Bay. Ten teams left. 24 team. Eric, you'll take uh, Indy. Thanks, man. Nine teams left. Arizona, Baltimore, Carolina, Cleveland, Houston, New England, New Orleans, New York Jets, and Tampa Bay. Seth will take the bucks. Thanks. And a reminder from above, 24 bucks per spot per team. Two jersey, too many. I put claim. I didn't even put my team. What am I doing? Hopper, Arizona, thanks. Uh, seven teams left to close this. Confident we'll get there. So I'm going to start randomizing balls. Under 10 is kind of that no turnaround zone. So Arizona's gone. Bucks are gone. And Indy is gone. In Tampa Bay. Oh, why did I put Tampa Bay? The Bucks are taken. Oh, I didn't put them again. From my original one, they were. Sorry, Ian, they're taken. I may have said it out loud, but they're gone. Yeah, that's my fault. Um, Seth took them with the Bucks. Okay, two minis first, two mini boxes. We're seven away. We'll get there. Come out. Come here, little guy. Don't be scared. That was weird. Carolina for Ian. Thanks, Ian. Six left. Okay, two boxes for the minis. That's what this is. One. I don't like that. There's a opening in there somewhere. Where are those spilling out? Right there. Oh. That is so strange. I'll fix it, but we got two in the chamber down there. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? 
Okay, gray ball up first. Just focus. Gosh dang it. There it is. 68. So that's 0, 6, 8 for the minis. And line under that is 6. 68 and 6 for the minis. I got two backup bingo wheels. That thing is starting to go bad on me. Jerseys. One, two, gray and yellow. Uh, five, no, six teams left still, guys. Baltimore, Cleveland, Houston, New England, New Orleans, New York Jets. That sounds like a chief. <laughs> Every time you say that, you you capitalize on these mini jersey breaks, Sean. You hit both, you hit two jerseys there tonight in the three boxer. It's nuts. Twenty four. It did focus zero two four. Three eight. Let me grab those and we'll come back and fill these last six teams. Um, let's do, uh, instead of 24, the last six teams are 20. So Grant, 20 on Cleveland. So $4 off for the last six spots. And I'm going to go grab 20 Zabil. Yeah, you got 20. Jonathan's taking New Orleans. Uh, Sean just behind on New Orleans. Marcus, New England, discounted. Uh, Patty's taking his Jets, discounted. Sean just behind on the Jets. So we have Baltimore and Houston left, guys, at 20. Sean G's taking Baltimore. I'll read off who has who. Houston, last one left. Let me grab the boxes while we're waiting for that one to fill. We're ready to rock and roll. Six, eight, and six jerseys. Bottom corner. Nate will take Houston. Thanks, Nate. Waiting on Marcus. 
<laughs> he does in the full size, or he has. He's probably paid his dues with Houston, though. Thanks, Nate. That closes us. Let me read off who has who. Okay. Hopper, Arizona, Seth, Atlanta, Sean G's got Baltimore, Quinton, Buffalo, in Carolina, Marcus, Chicago, Seth, Cincinnati, Grant's got Cleveland, Quinton, Dallas, Hopper, Denver, Raul, Detroit, Josiah, Green Bay. Is that right? I can't read my handwriting. Yes. Uh, Marcus, I put Marcus because <laughs> you guys are saying it. Nate has Houston. Eric with Indy, Ian with Jacksonville, Sean V with Kansas City, Seth with the Chargers, Josiah with the Rams, Eric with Miami, Jonathan, Minnesota, Marcus has got New England, Jonathan, New Orleans, Chris has got the Giants, Patty, the Jets, Daryl, the Raiders, Sean G, Philly, um, I think Richard had Pittsburgh, handwriting again is terrible, yep, first comment, Jason has got San Francisco, Sean has got Seattle, that's Sean V., Mundanator, Seth with Tampa Bay, Josh P with Tennessee, and Eric with Washington. Okay. We're full. We're ready to go, guys. Um, let's do minis first tonight. Okay, let's verify. 068, 6, 0, 2, 4, and 38. We'll do 068 first, then 6, and then we'll move to the jersey 0, 2, 4, and then 38. Hello, everyone. Good luck. Yeah. What's up, man? Okay. First up, three, two, one. Oh. And it has the name right there. Lunar Eclipse for San Francisco. Three, two, one. The signature that I now know, we pulled them a few weeks ago on the full size, and I could not make it out, but now I know whose scribble that belongs to. Walked away from my phone, Jonathan. <laughs> that is Vernon Davis. Great hit. San Francisco, Jason. Nice hit, Jason. Vernon Davis, Lunar Eclipse, mini helmet for the San Francisco 49ers. Beckett Authenticated. With the little scan, well, I love those now. You literally just put your camera on it and it brings it up and then it pulls up the exact scan of that exact web page verifying that number. Congrats, Jason. Nice hit for San Francisco. I loved Vernon Davis. He was like the first tight end that was not a tight end. That dude was something else. He was like the Kawhi Leonard of basketball or of football before that was like these new age athletes. You could outrun any linebacker. It's like when they bring in Kawhi Leonard to that sports science and his hands are as big as you see that picture when he put his hand on the ref's stomach when he was talking to him and like he literally like cradled his entire rib cage. Dude's hands are ginormous. Okay. Next up, three, two, one. Cardinal speed mini helmet. Arizona hit next. Who has Arizona? That is Hopper. What do we got tonight for you, Hopper? Three, two, one. Ooh. Very nice. Mr. Kyler Murray on the white speed Cardinals mini helmet. Beckett authenticated. Nice start tonight, guys. Vernon Davis, Lunar, Kyler Murray for the Cardinals. Nice hit, Hopper. One. Yeah, it's an, I love Kyler Murray. I love his stuff, too. Who had the first one? San Francisco. Okay, jersey time. That's an, <laughs> that's an actual authentic game day Kyler, Kyler Murray helmet, says Nate. Game used. <laughs> How tall is he? <laughs> okay. 
I always wonder why I stopped playing football and I started playing basketball and golf or whatever else. Because I hear people on Sunday, you know, like defensive linemen or the line, linemen are like, Ooh, David Bakhtiari, 6'4", 290. And I'm like, hey, that's that's me. Kyler Murray is not so big, though. He doesn't care. Say it to his millions. Okay, jersey number one, box 024. Who do we have here? Oh, I know who this is. 321. Spiffy looking jersey. Oh, I think it was the other QB. I've always liked his stuff. That is Miami. Eric. And that is quite obviously Bob, says Quinn. That is correct. Bob Greasy. JSA authenticated jersey for the Miami Dolphins. Bob Greasy. Oh, that's making your last still, mate. Miami. Okay. Nice hit, Eric. I need to get one of those kids safe box openers again. I've misplaced both of them. Hopefully one of my kids doesn't find them. Need a buck. So you're saying, huh? Trying to speak it in existence. Three, two, one. Oh, I like this one. Nice gray, black, and white. Only one team that can be, usually. And that's their young tight end. Wallet is correct. That's Darren Waller, who had Las Vegas. That was Daryl. I know, Daryl, you were taking him for the minis, but you got yourself a jersey. Darren Waller, Las Vegas Raiders tight end, Beckett certified. Nice hit, Daryl. Okay, so two NFC minis, two AFC jerseys. Kyler Murray, Vernon Davis, Darren Waller, and Bob Greasy. Congrats, winners. Las Vegas, San Francisco, Arizona, and Miami. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end it there tonight. We're not going to uh, stay on too late for the next couple nights until we get Series 6 up and running. Uh, we'll get another basketball break scheduled here soon. We'll do a case break of full size tomorrow for Gold Rush by team um, on Facebook. On eBay tomorrow, it's hockey puck, hockey jersey, Gold Rush football jersey, and a diamond helmet. Um, we're due for a big hit, big hit in Series 3 diamond. I think we started it off with uh, the Jordan Love flex, which was nice. We're due for a big hit there. Another reminder, oh, did we hit any of the teams? We didn't hit the Patriots. Or the Jets. So we still have two left in the last man standing contest. Hopefully we can get them eliminated with a mini or a jersey before Series 6 starts. Um, good stuff tonight. It'll be fun on eBay tomorrow. Basketball is scheduled later this week. Full size schedule uh, tomorrow from Gold Rush. And then Big Al Series 6 most likely will not be ready tomorrow. So look for it on Wednesday or Thursday. One more. <laughs> uh, I think we'll end it there for tonight. Uh, it's a good time for me because I need to keep working on Series 6. I have like 30 boxes sitting here, then I think I need another 40. We had 60-something rollover. I removed a couple that I thought just didn't fit the series anymore. Um, they may come back in, but probably not. Um, and then I, I added another 80 into the series. I think we're starting with close to 150 this time. So big variety most teams have four or five hits some have six some have three i think right now we're gonna it'll, it'll even out as helmets arrive um it'll be fun i'm gonna call it there guys i know we could do another mini in our jersey but i'm gonna call it tonight tomorrow night we'll do the same thing we'll do our pick your team too many two jersey after the facebook break um and then if we want to stay on longer maybe we'll do a uh pick your pick one random one or division or something like that but we'll call it that it's a good place to stop um Appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out as always. Fun night. Good stuff. And we'll see you tomorrow night.